problem number three is a formula type of problem. It's not exactly a formula, but um, we can use the steps for solving formula to, to do it. So let's refresh our memory on those. And uh, of course, it's lost my size here. Uh, what was it, 20, I think? Okay, steps to solve a formula for a variable. We have our note up at top at any step. Combine like terms and combine numbers. Step number one, get rid of parentheses. We do this via the distributive property. Step two, get rid of fractions. We do this by multiplying everything by the LCM of all their denominators. Step three, get everything with the variable we are solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. When I say get everything, I'm talking about terms, um, which is what we're dealing with here, but um, they don't actually have to be terms. Um, step four, if the variable we are solving for is in two or more terms, factor it out. And step five, um, divide both sides by what is in front of slash back of the variable we are solving for. So we're going to go through these five steps in solving this problem. And um, give me a pen to work, maybe. Hello. There it goes. Da. Hmm. Okay. There we go. So this is on uh, 3A, and we got uh, 1 8 X minus 2 fifths Y equals negative 1. Uh, I'm about to grab my other pen. Uh, I got two of these pens, and one of them works better than the other. Okay, first step, get rid of parentheses. We don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions. Uh, we do that by multiplying everything by the LCM of all our denominators. We got 8 and 5. The LCM of 8 and 5 is 40. So we're going to multiply everything by 40. And I think uh, the other pen was actually a little bit better. Let me switch back to it. 8 and 40 are both divisible by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 4 divided by 8 is 5. 5 and 40 both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Uh, if you end up with 1s as your denominators, that means you pick the right LCM, or at least a common multiple. 5 times 1 gives us uh, 5x. Uh, minus 8 times 2 is 16 y and 40 times uh, negative 1 is negative 40. Third step, get everything with the variable you're solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. I'm solving for y, so I'm going to take this negative 16 y and move it to the right side and I'll take this negative 40 and move it to the left side. Now remember when you take anything across the equals, the sign changes. So the negative 40 becomes a positive 40. The negative 16y becomes a positive 16y. Our fourth step says that the variable you're solving for is in two or more terms, factor it out. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses, so this is just in one term. 
And our last step is divide everything uh, by the number in front of uh, the, the y, which is 16. Um, technically, it's everything after 2, but there's only uh, 16 before it. So we'll divide this by 16. Pen actually works better if I go slow, but I like to write fast. And then I'll divide that by 16. So those are going to cancel. So we got 5 16 x plus, and 40 and 16 both divisible by uh, 8, so that gives me 5 halves. And that's our answer. Let's look at our next problem. 3b, 5x minus 7y equals negative 2. Uh, first step, get rid of parentheses. Don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions. Don't have any. Uh, third step, get everything with a variable we're solving for on one side and everything else on the other side. I'm solving for y. I'm going to take the negative 7y to the right side and I'll take negative 2 to the left side. And I do that so the, um, the number before the y is positive. You don't have to do that, but Remember, when you take anything across the equals, the sign changes. So negative 2 becomes a positive 2. The negative 7y becomes a positive 7y. Step 4. If the variable you're solving for is in two or more terms, factor it out. It's only in one term. Uh, step 5. Divide uh, both sides by the number in front of our y, in this case, which is 7. So we'll divide by this by 7. And 2 by... The 2 by... Boy, this pen is the 2 by 7. There it goes. And over here, I'll divide the 7 by 7. 7's cancel there. So we got 5 7 x. Well, this is really kind of slowing down. I'm not sure why. And 2 7 there. And over here, we got y. And that's our answer.